So, question for you. Who would win a best of seven series? And I'm not going to refer to it as the World Series. Between the 1962 Mets and the 2019 Detroit Tigers. Well, that question might just be answered with the series that I'm about to play, Stratomatic, Card and Dice, 62 Mets versus the 19 Tigers. The 2019 Tigers won 47 games. The 62 Mets won 40 games. So the uh, series will start in Detroit, and we'll see what happens. But place your bets in the meantime on just exactly what you think is going to happen. Before we play it, on the Sportsman Z Network. Matchup that you've all been waiting for. The 1962 Mets versus the, ninth, the 2019 Detroit Tigers. What team is worse? What team would lose in a seven game matchup or a best of seven game matchup between the two? Well, we're going to find that out. <clears throat> As is my usual method, I use the um, basic Stratomatic game. I don't use the advanced or the super advanced. Um, and we incorporate most of the, um, most all the basic um, rules. However, I do occasionally use an advanced rule, for instance, runners going an extra base. I will look at the back of the, the uh, outfielder's card to see what his arm is, and then we subtract the arm from the, uh, the uh, runner's ability to make the next base based on the arm on the back of the card, not on his fielding rating. Um, but we do use the catcher's um, basic fielding rating to determine his arm, since we're not factoring in holds and all of that stuff. So, in my opinion, in the basic game, the, the high uh, negative ratings on the arms for the catchers kind of incorporates pitcher's hold and catcher's arm together. So, um, and whether the runner gets a lead and all of that stuff that is taken care of in the advanced game, but it isn't in the basic. So I use the higher um, basic rating for the catcher's arm. But without any further ado, let's get underway. The first batter for the New York Mets will be Richie Ashburn. And he is facing today Matt Boyd of the Detroit Tigers. He'll be on the mound for the Tigers today. And Ashburn gets a 110, which is a single. So the Mets lead off with a single. And uh, he's a stealing B, but right now he's going to stay right where he is. Charlie Neal is up next. Because, you know, I don't like to sacrifice, but there's a ground ball double play. Charlie Neal hits into a double play. 
So there is two down. And that brings up Jim Hickman. And he gets a 4-3 on Matt Boyd, which is a fly ball left field X. The left fielder is a 2, actually, for Detroit. And that's another thing. The fielding of these teams is really not that bad. And that's probably an out. 6-2 is an out 4, and that is. So the Mets go 1-2-3 in the uh, first inning. And we go to the uh, bottom of the first with Detroit up at the plate. And they will lead off with Jacoby Jones. I think the better offense of the two was the Mets, but we'll see. Jacoby Jones up. He gets a 4-7. And Roger Craig is pitching for the 1962 Mets today, and he strikes out Jacoby Jones. And that brings up uh, the next man is Nico Goodrum of Detroit, and he gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball B. So there's two away. Craig retires the first two batters. And that brings up uh, Harold Castro, and he gets a 6-5 on Craig, which is an automatic home run. So there's a home run for Castro. And uh, that's a hit, home run, earned run. And then that brings up Ronnie Rodriguez. And that's a 1-8, which is a fly ball B. Now, I'm just going to mention, and maybe you picked up on it, I don't know if you have, but Harold Castro is a weak against both handed pitching. But... We are using the basic game, and in the basic game, we don't factor that in, so that was indeed a home run, whereas in the advanced game, it probably would have been a single. But that's that. So Detroit strikes for a run, and Frank Thomas is leading off for the 62 Mets. He gets a 5-11 on Boyd, which is a ground ball, one away. That brings up Gil Hodges, and that's a 2-8, which is a strikeout. Now, in this game, um, in this series, I'm going to have to really pay attention because I just have a, like, a counting type spreadsheet where I just mark down um, slash marks for, how, for their at-bats and their hits. I don't have one of the traditional sheets that tracks... Um, <clears throat> that, you know, that um, tracks the, the hits and like a score pad. And so I, you know, if I don't know who was up last, I, mean, I could, uh, you know, that could be an issue. But 4-7 for Felix Mantilla is a single one to four. And we'll see if he gets the single, and he does. That's the second hit for the Mets. Off Matt Boyd, and that brings up Elio Chacon, and he gets a 4-3, which is a fly ball left, and again, the left fielder is a 2, and that's a 16, probably an out, and it is, so they get out of the inning, and no runs come across for the Mets, and that brings up Miguel Cabrera for Detroit. The aging superstar. And he gets a 4-3 on Roger Craig, which is a ground ball first base C. So that's one away. And that brings up Brandon Dixon. And he gets a 4-4, which is a fly ball center field. And the center fielder for the Detroit Tigers is... Um, or no, for the uh, Mets is Richie Ashburn. And he's a 3, and that's a 9. So that's going to be big. That's a triple. So, uh, so Brandon Dixon hits himself a triple. With one out, um, they are going to, they're just going to pick pitch to Reyes, hope for a strikeout or something, but they're not going to bring the infield in. Not yet. 
And that's a 5-4 on Craig, which is a ground ball shortstop, but they didn't get it. And the shortstop for the Mets is a 4. And that's a 5, so that's going to be something. That is going to be a single that knocks in a run. So Victor Reyes gets a hit and an RBI and another hit allowed by Craig and another earned run. And Detroit has a 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the second inning with only one out and John Hicks and a man aboard. And he gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. So Hicks strikes out. Craig with his second strikeout of the game, and Yimer Candelario gets a 4-8 on Craig, which is a fly ball. So Detroit is retired, but again, they get another run. And that brings up Jim Hickman in the top of the fourth. And Hickman gets a 2-7, which is a walk. So Hickman walking, and that's the first walk issued by Boyd today. And that brings up Frank Thomas. He gets a 3-8, which is a single one to 15. And that is a single. So the Mets have a little threat going here. Two on with no one out. Fourth hit allowed by Boyd. Two runners on with no outs, and Gil Hodge is up, and he gets a 6-9 on Boyd, which is a triple one single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in the Mets' first run. RBI. Boyd allows a hit and an earned run. Runners are at the corners. The Tigers will play the infield back, but there are no outs, and Felix Mantilla up at the plate. And he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. So there's one away. Now a double play will, <clears throat> will get them out of trouble. And that's what that's exactly what Detroit needs. Elio Chacon, 2-8 <clears throat> is a walk, and that loads the bases up. Second walk for uh, Boyd, and that both in this inning. And Marv Throneberry is up at the plate. He gets a 4-11. That is a fly ball right field X. The right fielder for Detroit is a 3. That's Castro. And 10-3 and three is an out 5. Run around third scores. So the Mets knock in the tying run. On a fly ball sacrifice fly by Marv Throneberry. And so up steps Chris Canizaro, and he gets a 5 10 on Boyd, which is a fly ball to center. And the center fielder is Jacoby Jones. He's a 2, and that is probably going to be an out, and it is. So Canizaro flies out, but the Mets. Tie the game at two, going to the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up Ronnie Rodriguez. And Ronnie Rodriguez gets a 6-7. And Craig is a double one to 11 or a single. Single. So Detroit has a man on. Hit allowed by Craig. Miguel Cabrera up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a which is a yeah, home run one to four or a fly ball. And that is gonna be a fly ball, so there's one away. Uh, okay. Yeah, he must have given up a lot of home runs that year. 35 he did. Brandon Dixon is up, and that's a 5-7. That's a home run 1-4 or a fly ball. And that is also a fly ball. And 
That brings up Victor Reyes, and Victor Reyes gets a 5-9 ground ball shortstop, and the shortstop is a 4, I believe. No, he's a 3. He's a 3, but that's going to be a hit anyway. Single 2. So Detroit has... Detroit has runners at the... Uh... Yeah. Detroit has runners at the uh, corners. Another hit by Craig allowed. And uh, that brings up Jim Hicks. And there are two outs, I believe. And that's a 4-11. 411 is a fly ball right field X. The right fielder for the Mets is a two. And that's Hickman. And that's a 10 2. And that's a two base. Wait a minute. And a fly ball right field. 10 2. That's an out. Victor Reyes is out. Or Hicks. Hicks is out. All right, so um, they failed. I think they failed to score there, right? Yeah. So the score is still 2 2. We go to the top of the fifth. I'm sure I must have made a mistake in there somewhere, but that's life. That's, you know, the human element. Um, so, yeah, Candelaria will be up next. And that, I believe, is true. And now you've got um, Ashburn leading off for the Mets in the top of the fifth in a 2-2 game. That's a 1-6, which is a single for Ashburn. So he leads off with a hit. And he is 3-for-3, three three, Richie Ashburn. And that brings up Charlie Neal. Charlie Neal gets a 6-6. Six, six. Which is a home run one to two or a double off of Boyd. And that's going to be a double that puts runners at second and third. Now they will play the infield in. The mat, there the, uh, the Tigers will. With Jim Hickman up and that's a 5-3 and that's a ground ball C. There's one away and uh, nobody scores. Because the infield was in, and the infield will stay in for Frank Thomas, and he gets a 1-6, which is a pop-out to short. And that's two away, and that brings up Gil Hodges, and the infield's back, obviously, and that's a 6-5, which is an automatic home run for Gil Hodges. Off of Boyd's card, and in this particular case, Hodges does have the home run power to hit a home run. So, that's not a big deal. And the Mets take a commanding 5-2 to two lead in the game. And that brings up Felix Mantilla, and he gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball out. But the Mets strike for three in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth, five to two Mets, and that gives uh, Craig a little bit of uh, a little bit of rope, I would think. Candelario is up, and he gets a four-six, which is a pop out to short, one away. Jacoby Jones gets a four-seven, which is a strikeout, and that would be Craig's fourth strikeout. And Nico Goodrum gets a 1-5, which is a walk. Goodrum with a walk. And that is Craig's first walk issued of the day. Yes. And Harold Castro gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. Yeah. 
So Craig has struck out five guys and no runs come across for Detroit there. And we go to the top of the sixth. And we are going to make a pitching change for the Tigers. They're going to take out Boyd. And they're going to bring in... Um, they're going to bring in Nick Ramirez to pitch. So let's write that down. Nick Ramirez. Boyd goes five. And Nick Ramirez will come on to pitch. And he, the first batter he'll face is Elio Chacon. And that is a 4 6 on Ramirez, and that's a fly ball, one away. That brings up Marvelous Marv Throneberry, and he gets a fly ball right field, two away. And that brings up Chris Canizaro, and that is a 210, which is a walk. So the Mets have a man aboard. Canizaro gets aboard by a walk issued by Nick Ramirez. First base runner allowed by Ramirez, and that brings up Richie Ashburn, who gets a 610. And that is a ground ball C. So Ashburn is out. And that will bring up Neal as the first batter next inning. But the Mets get no runs there. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. And Ronnie Rodriguez leads off, as we said. He gets a 6-8, which is a single. So Detroit has another man aboard. Craig allows another hit. Miguel Cabrera gets a 3-6, which is a single, and Detroit has the first two batters aboard. You gotta wonder how long they're gonna stick with Craig, and then Brandon Dixon comes up and he gets a 5-6, which is a walk and loads the bases. So, Dixon walking and uh, Craig putting the bases loaded with no out. So they're going to get some activity in their bullpen. And that's going to be in the uh, form of Ken McKenzie is warming up for the Mets. <coughs> but right now Craig is pitching to Victor Reyes with no outs and um, bases loaded. And that's a 212, which is a ground ball, second base A, plus injury. So there's going to be two outs and a run will score because the Mets did not bring the infield in. Um, and we'll have to roll for the injury. And that's a 16, so he's gone. So Victor Reyes was playing left field for Detroit. And he'll be gone pretty much for the series. So they need a new left fielder is the short, the long and the short of it. And that will be... Kristen Stewart and he's going to be a left field five so that isn't good Kristen Stewart he but, um, that's two outs and runners are at the corners now. And John Hicks is up. And that's a 6-7, which is a double 1-11 to 11 or a single. And that's going to be a double that knocks in at least one run. Um, and who is the base runner? That's Cabrera, probably. No, it's 
Dixon, and Dixon is a 1-14. to They're going to send him to try to tie the game, and he makes it. I didn't even have to incorporate the arm. I know he makes it. So, um, Hicks gets another RBI, and Craig gives up his fifth run, and that ties the game for the Mets. And that brings up Yimer Condelario, and he gets a 4-7 which is a strikeout. Craig with the strikeout, but he leaves the game uh, and he probably will be out, you would imagine, because Detroit ties the game on him and it's 5-5 going to the top of the seven. Marvelous Marv Throneberry. 5-7 is a triple one to two or a single. Yeah. And that's going to be a single. Marvelous Marv is aboard with a single. Hit off Ramirez. That brings up Canizaro, and he gets a 1 7, which is a single level asterisk. Now the uh, Detroit Tigers have to bring the infield in because. The Mets have runners at the corners and nobody out. And Detroit will get some action in their bullpen. Victor Alcantara is warming up out in the bullpen. But right now, um, Ramirez has to pitch to Ashburn. And that is a 1-4 home run, 1-5, or a fly ball. That's going to score at least one for the Mets. It's a fly ball, but it does score the run because it's a fly ball B to right field. So that's two away. No, I don't think it is. No, that's no outs. There's no outs. I mean, there, that's the first out. So he gets an RBI. Ramirez allows a run. Charlie Neal is up, and he gets a 5-7 on Ramirez's card, which is a triple 1-2, or a single of a asterisk. And that is a single. So, Charlie Neal. And uh, that's a hit by Ramirez, and they're going to bring the infield in again with Jim Hickman up. He gets a 2-5, which is a walk, and the bases are loaded. And that's going to bring in Alcantara to pitch. So Ramirez goes 2 and a third. And that brings in Victor Alcantara. And they're going to play the infield back and hope for the double play. With Christian, no, with uh, Frank Thomas up. What plays into their favor here is Thomas is a big strikeout guy in a time when there was no strikeouts. 6-4 uh, on Alcantara is a ground ball third base X. And the third baseman is a 3 that is Candelario and he gets an out with no runners on base four which does allow the run to score because I had the infield back so um, yeah so Thomas knocks in another run or knocks in his first run actually and that is charged to Ramirez. And now the infield will be back with two down. Gil Hodge is up and he gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball. But the Mets strike for two. And if they can stop the, uh, if uh, Ken McKenzie can hold the Tigers to less than two, they win game one. Christian Stewart up against him. 5-7, double one to 11 or a single. 
Kristen Stewart with a single. First hit allowed by McKenzie. And that brings up John Hicks. And that is a 3-7, which is a single one to three. And that's an out, one away. Next batter, Yimer Candelario. And he gets a 1-10, which is a fly ball. And with two down, Jacoby Jones, and he gets a 2-7, which is a double 1-13, to I mean, they're still alive, they get, a, they get the double, so runners are right, second and third. McKenzie giving up his second hit of the game, and that brings up Nico Goodrum, and that's a 5-11, that's a fly ball left field. The left fielder for this team is a five, unfortunately. And that's an eight. That's going to be huge. Eight and five on the outfield. is No, it's an out one. That's crazy. All right, yeah, it's an out one, so that's it. Jacoby Jones gets out. And, uh, or Nico Goodrum. Nico Goodrum gets out, and uh, and they uh, don't they don't score any runs really, and they uh, and that's the uh, that's the game, and the Mets win it game they win game one seven to five over the Tigers. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Well, hello. We're back for game two between the 1962 Mets and the 2019 Detroit Tigers. Game one and game two are in Detroit, and hence you'll see that we use the DH um, for, um, for these two games. And we will switch back to the uh, we'll switch back to pitcher bat when we go back to New York. But um, it was DH for these two. Uh, the Mets won the first game, as you recall, seven to five. Um, and so now here we are, ready to play game two. The lineups are the same as in game one, so I posted the lineups in the video uh, for game one at the beginning of the video. So um, they haven't changed except for Kristen Stewart playing left field for Detroit in place of the injured Victor Reyes, and he will be out the rest of the series. So unless Kristen Stewart gets injured, he will be the left fielder. So let's get started. We have uh, the pitchers today, Jay Hook for the New York Mets, and Daniel Norris will be the pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. And Richie Ashburn is leading off um, in the top of the first, and he gets a 5-6 on Norris, which is a fly ball. One away. Charlie Neal is up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a triple 1-13, to or a single. And he gets a single out of it. So, that was a pretty high chance for only coming up with a, uh, with a single. So, oh, I forgot to write down the pitchers. Um, Norris. And over here, Hook. And that's the first hit given up by Norris. Man at first, one away. Um, and Jim Hickman up. And he gets a 1-5, which is a double 1-8 to eight or a single. And that's going to be a double that moves runners to second and third. That's a hit allowed by Norris. Another hit, and they, he's got runners at second and third with one out, and 
Frank Thomas up. And he gets a 1-6, which is a pop out to short. So there's two away. And that brings up Gil Hodges. And that's a 6-8. And that is a home run 1-4 to four or a double. That's going to score at least two runs. And that is actually the double. So he doubles in. Hodges doubles in two runs. Norris allows two, and the Mets have an early lead. Mantilla up with two outs, and that's a 6-6 six, six on Norris, and that's a strikeout. So that's the first strikeout for Daniel Norris, but New York strikes for two in the first. And that brings Jacoby Jones up to the plate to lead off for the Detroit Tigers. And that is a 1-9, which is a strikeout. And uh, Jay Hook with the K. Nico Goodrum gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. Jay Hook strikes out the first two guys. And that brings up Harold Castro, and he gets a 4-12, which is a walk. Castro with his first walk of the series, and Hook with his first walk of the ball game, and Ronnie Rodriguez is up, and he gets a triple one or a double. And that is a double, which at least puts a man on third, and they may actually even try to extend it, um, but we'll see. That is that is a double, and Castro is a running one to fourteen, so they are going to try it going home, and that's a nine, and I'm sure there are no negative five arms on this team, so he does knock the run in. Let's see. Um, yeah. So there is one run in um, that Hook gives up, and C Miguel Cabrera is up, and that's a 5 4 on Hook, and that's catcher card X. The catcher is Canizaro, who's a 2, and that's a 9 2. At catcher, which is a pop out. So that is the end of the inning, I believe. Right? Yeah. So the Detroit Tigers get one run there off of Jay Hook and the score is 2 to 1. And Dixon will be the first batter next inning for Detroit, but right now we have Elio. Chacon up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a single one to 10. And that is a single. And Norris giving up his fourth hit already of the game. And that brings up the next batter, who is Marv Throneberry, and that's 5-3 on Norris, which is right field X. The right fielder for Detroit is a 3. And that's a 19. And that's a roll again. And that's a four. That's going to be some. No, it isn't. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it is. Uh, safe at second on error. So Chacon is, or Throneberry, is on by an error. And uh, that's an error for. That's the first error, actually, of the series. And Chris Canizaro is up with no outs. And that is a 4-6. And that is going to be a walk, I believe, right? Yeah, walk. 
So Cannizzaro walks, first walk issued by Norris, but now he's got the bases loaded with no outs, and Richie Ashburn up, and that's a 2-9, which is a fly ball B, but scores the man on third. And that brings up Charlie Neal, and that's a 5'11", which uh, is a left field X, and the left fielder is a 5. And that's an 11, that's going to be huge. That's a double 2. So another run scores. Charlie Neal with a hit. Brings up Jim Hickman, still no outs, and that's a 3 8, which is a strikeout, one away. That brings up Frank Thomas with an out in the inning, and there's 5 9, is a strikeout. So he strikes out the next two guys, including one very dangerous one in Frank Thomas. And that brings up Gil Hodges. And he gets a 5-7, which is a triple 1-3 to three or a single. And that is a triple. Triple by Hodges. Knocks in two. And the Mets have a commanding lead here. <clears throat> Mantia is up, and that's a 1-3, which is a ground ball. And that's the end of the inning. But the Mets strike for four runs right there, and it's 6-1. to one. Going to the bottom of the first. And that brings up Brandon Dixon, who has a 6-9. And that's a triple 1-7 to seven or a single. Triple. So Brandon Dixon rips a triple. That's his second of the series. Kristen Stewart gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball, um, A++, plus injury. So we roll for the injury, and he might be out. He is out for one game after this. So they're going to have to replace him. And they need another left fielder. Well, we'll let you know who that is in a minute, because there's two down. Oh, wait a minute. There's one down. One down with a man at third. And that was a, actually, that was a ground ball B, so runner held. John Hicks is up, and that's a 6-3, which is a walk. So Hicks takes the walk. Jay Hook walks the man. There's a runners at the corners with one out and Yimer Candelario up, and that is a pop out to short, two away at 3 8. Which brings up runners at the corners, two out, and Jacoby Jones, and that's a 6 2. And that's going to be. A fly ball B. So Jacoby Jones is out, and now we need a now we need the replacement in left field. And there should be no uh, so let's write him down, Travis Dermott. Going into right, and he is a three. But what we have now is a situation where the um, Mets are up in the uh, 
top of the third with a 6-1 lead, and Chacon is up. And he gets a 1-8, and he's out. And that brings up Marvelous Marv Throneberry, who strikes out. Strike out by Daniel Norris. And Canizaro is up, and that's a 5-10. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. Shortstop is a 3. That is a uh, 6, I believe. 6-3 is an out. It was uh, an out. Yeah. So Canizaro's out. And they get no runs in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Nico Goodrum up for the uh, Detroit Tigers. 4-10 on hook is a pop-out to second. Harold Castro is 4-6, which is a walk. Castro walking. Gotta believe Hook has a... Uh, long hook now on this game. 6-6 six, six is a strikeout to Ronnie, of Ronnie Rodriguez. And that brings up Miguel Cabrera. And he gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. A lot of strikeouts here for, uh, for Hook. That was his fourth of the game here in the third and no runs come across for Detroit we go to the top of the fourth Richie Ashburn is up and he gets a 3-6 which is a walk Ashburn aboard with a walk and that brings up Charlie Neal he gets a 2-8 which is a strikeout one away Fifth strikeout for Norris, but he's still pitched pretty poorly. Jim Hickman up for seven, single one to 12. And that's going to be a uh, line out. So Hickman is out. And that brings up Frank Thomas, and that is 5 6, which is a fly ball. No runs for the Mets there. We go to the bottom of the fourth. And looks like Norris maybe has settled down. Brandon Dixon up for five, which is a pop out to first. Went away. Travis Dermott up for his first at bat of the series, and he walks. John Hicks up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a strikeout. Two away. And up steps Yimer Candelario, and he walks. And with two on and two out, Jacoby Jones is up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a double one to 13. And that's going to be a single level asterisk that scores a run. Second run allowed by the Mets and Nico Goodrum up. And that's a 1-7, which is a ground ball B. And ends the inning. But the Mets do get a run in the fourth. And they make the score 6-2. to two. So with Norris settling down and the Mets getting another run, the game is getting a little bit closer. Gil Hodges up. He gets a 310, which is a strikeout. One away. Felix Mantia, 5'8. Fly ball two away. And I think that the Tigers realize that they don't really have anybody better in the bullpen than Norris anyway. And Elio Chacon is up and he gets a home run one to four or a double. That's going to be a double. 
So Chacon rips a double. Seventh hit allowed by Norris. And Marv thrown Barry up and he strikes out. First time he struck out in the series. And again, seven strikeouts for Norris. A lot of strikeouts. But um, still not pitching very well. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's six to two. Mets leading. And Harold Castro up for Detroit. He gets a five five. And that's a shortstop. Shortstop for the Mets is a three, I believe. And no, he's a four. So 10 4 at short is an out. One away. Castro out. One down and Ronnie Rodriguez up, and that's a 6-12, which is a fly ball, two away. And up steps Miguel Cabrera, and he gets a 3-4, which is a home run, one to five, or a double. And that's going to be a double for Detroit and Cabrera. Fourth hit allowed by Hook, and uh, that brings up... The next man, Brandon Dixon, that's a 4-4, which is a fly ball. That's out. We go to the top of the ninth. The Mets with a commanding 6-2 lead. Ashburn up. He gets a 1-8, which is a single. Hardy giving up his first hit of a game. Charlie Neal up, 4-4. That is a fly ball left field B, one away. Jim Hickman up, 2-9, which is a strikeout. And there's two down. And that brings up Frank Thomas. And that is a 1-7, which is a fly ball left field B. And now all the Mets have to do is not allow the Tigers to get four runs right here in the bottom of the ninth. As they are, the Mets are leading 6-2. to two. John Hicks up. He gets a ground ball shortstop A. Jay Hook going for the complete game, the impressive complete game. 1-7 is a walk to Candelario. Even though really he's allowed 11 guys on, which is not really that impressive. 110 is a ground ball shortstop A for Jacoby Jones, which is a double play and ends the game. So the final score is the Mets winning game two, six to two. The winning pitcher is Jay Hook. The losing pitcher is Daniel Norris.